purpose some change from what the governor has proposed. So that will limit a little bit what we have to cover. Have we taken roll? Okay. Everybody, all the members have a tracking sheet. Does anybody need a tracking sheet? Okay. On page one, which is uh, early care and learning, there are no changes from what the, the governor has proposed. And beginning on page two of seven, section 23 of the budget at Department of Education, you'll notice that there is uh, an addition of $158,319 in the extended year, extended day, extended year program. The next change, uh, there is no other change from what the governor has proposed on page two. On page three, Uh, Non-quality basic education formula grants 23.11.1 deals with uh, programmatic changes at Devereaux Academy and Murphy Harps Academy. And you see an addition there of $294,415 to correct that uh, oversight from the 14 budget. Keep going, okay, I'll keep going. If members, if you have a question, just yes. hold on to it. Um, line 23141, you see an addition of $890,421 to correct a millage rate problem in Ware County Schools. And then on 2315.2, you see an addition of $1.7 million to correct tax digest problem for Troop County Schools. Uh, let's see, quality basic education program. Um, the charter systems grant is in there, the, the additions to it, that's what the governor had proposed. There is a true up of the midterm adjustment to uh, reflect the actual FTE growth. And so you see there's a slight reduction in, in those dollars of approximately $1 million to $129 million. And a true up of the special needs scholarship, SB 10. So you see that reduction of 999,000 there, reflecting the student decline. And then on 2316.5 at the bottom of that page, you see the funds to correct the FTE count error in Tift County Schools of $83,027. On the next page, the only change to the governor's recommendations is in on 23.23.1 under technology career education, and that's the addition of $158,319 for the extended day, extended year program in career tech. Okay. I think all of those changes are changes that we had discussed earlier. 
on the remaining pages in the tracking document, uh, the seven page document, there are no other changes. And there are no changes to those in the governor, the office of the governor, which would be the Professional Standards Commission. We just are proposing what the governor has proposed. And also in the Office of Student Achievement, uh, accepting the governor's recommendations there. And, and the only recommendation there is that he's made this different is moving governor's honors program from DOE over into the Office of uh, Student Accountability. We're going to stand at ease for just a few minutes until we get you a few more papers to look at. Yes, Troop County, 1.7 million to fix Troop County. I, I think we should say at this point, because if you, if you, if you were listening, we have fixed errors in Ware County, Troop County, Tift County, and two of the uh, treatment resource treatment centers. And also in the governor's proposal, there was a fix dealing with insurance problems in about five systems. Um, it, is, it is my opinion, and that, and that I think of, of the majority of the committee, that we say systems, if you make a mistake, that we're not going to fix mistakes in the future. Once you sign off and send the data in, that's what the budget's built on. Because it, it, it was very difficult to come up with the several millions of dollars that it took to fix these errors this time. Yes. Okay, we're going to be at ease for just about two or three minutes. Okay, are there any questions from committee members on the, what we have proposed? No, sir. Okay. You are recognized for a motion. I have a motion and a second to do pass to the full committee. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. That motion carries and we will be adjourned.
If you don't mind, would you please close the door? Uh, thank you. Before we get started, I got a text message this morning from Commissioner Hudgens from some bad news that had happened in my hometown, and we had a fire last night, and four people were killed. So if, if we could just have a minute of silence for that family, it's just heavy on my mind today. Thank you so much. Uh, we only have one change in this budget, and uh, you'll find that one change in Department uh, DOT, and it is on uh, 40.6 in a modal. There was a train wreck up in Scrivens County, and the state owns this railroad, so it's an emergency repair. And it's for 300000 and we own this railroad. And that is the only change we have in this budget. We own the track, excuse me, not the, not the, the train. We own the track. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I look at Thomas the train very often. So <laughs> we're on the track. And the 300000 is the only change. And I will give the committee a few minutes to look it over. We've had this budget for quite a while. And are there any comments? Second. If there are no questions and do pass, uh, this is passed out of the committee. All, all in favor say aye. aye. All opposed. Thank you so much. Yeah. Madam Chairman, yes, I'm, going to, I'm going to be spoiled. I'm going to be spoiled. Go ahead, go ahead. Like a quick meetings like this. <laughs> that is a spoiler. That is a spoiler. Wait, 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 See what they've got to say. I was sorry to call you so late last night. I, it was just crazy. No, I got the uh, email. And I said, oh, it's an emergency. And, stuff. <laughs> and I, I guess the, my only question was, where, where, did they, where did we pull that money? It didn't come in our budget. I don't know where it came from. They put it in for the for somebody else's budget. It didn't come out of our budget. Okay. That was my only question. So I didn't know where it came It did not come in our budget. And I wasn't, I wasn't going to ask that out here. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Tracy. I should have thanked you, but I was thinking.
There. That's it. Okay. Has everybody got their tracking sheets? I'm going to go ahead and call our uh, subcommittee meeting to order, and we'll we'll begin. You've all got your uh, tracking sheets, and we've been working on this budget for quite some time. What I'm going to do today is discuss just the uh, differences or the changes that are in there so that we can go ahead and pass this along to the full committee for their consideration. Uh, if you will begin, uh, look down on uh, 17.6, down at the 17.6.2. Uh, this is uh, some later information that we got from uh, OPB and all. And what they're going to do there, that the uh, total funds number is going to be increased some. And the reason for that is that we've still got the 14.4, but they're going to be able to use some other funds so that they can draw down the maximum amount on that dish money with that. So the only difference is just going to be the uh, total there. So we can draw down all the match money that's available to us on there. And then if you'll flip over to 17.8, that's your Medicaid low income. Call your attention to two items, 17.8.5 uh, and then also 17.8.10. And if you will look at the uh, 8.5, the number has increased there. This is the uh, uh, where we have transferred that money out. We increased that, but then look down on 8.10. Uh, and you'll see that that 4.1 million, that's put in as a separate line item. This uh, is pertaining to the program that we had uh, endorsed last year to help prevent low birth weight babies. That's at 90-10 federal match. This is to help prevent low birth weight, which are, when those children come along, they're very expensive and they felt like this was a good uh, program and this just signals the intent of the legislature that that be put in there by putting that in as a a separate line item there. And then if you will flip over to 17.18, that's the drugs and narcotics. Uh, there's a $50,000 ad right there. This is, uh, they're authorized for some 15 agents. They only have about nine and a half FTEs. And this will help them to uh, ensure that the safety in the manufacturing the compounded drugs as, as well as help combat uh, drug diversion and with the pain clinics and that sort of thing. So we're asking you to approve that. And then our last item, let's see here over under public health, 37.3.1, uh, just want to point this out to you and bring this. The governor had recommended that $1.25 million. This was to allow the public health to begin the process of integrating the district and county health department's clinical information system. And this would allow the health departments to keep their records together and also enhance their capacity to do billing, like to Medicaid and other insurance, where they would be able to recoup some funds. So we're asking that you uh, go along with that as well. And that is the changes that we have on our uh, sheet. Do we have any questions or comments from the committee members? If not, we'll entertain a motion to do pass. Have a motion to pass and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Then we'll pass that along to the full committee as a do pass. Thank you very much.